Hi, John. You came to Reaper from Pruel Tools, I think. What advice would you give to someone else making the switch, perhaps after version 7 is finally released? Start today, and don't try to make Reaper the same as Pro Tools. You can take some of the same ideas, where they make sense, where they're er ergonomic, and things like that, but don't try to make every keyboard shortcut the same, because sometimes Reaper has better shortcuts. Sometimes Pro Tools has better shortcuts. Ultimately, the you have the flexibility now to do that. So like, one stupid thing in Pro Tools I always thought was having to press Command and then Equals to open up the mixer, rather than pressing M or pressing Alt-M or having the dock or some other button that toggles the mixer, because you use the mixer a lot. It shouldn't be a two-handed operation. So set that up on something that's convenient. I do that with screen sets, so my number two key on my keyboard will show the mixer in a nice big size. Number three will do like 50-50. Pro Tools has good editing shortcuts like A and S and D and F and G. So I use some of the same ones, but for S, Reaper has a better one, Split, because the default in Pro Tools was like Command B. And so that's a bit of a stretch and you're gonna split so often. So yeah, keep Split on S, but add Trim Start of Items to A. Um, add cropping to D or trimming items to selection. And I like F and G for fading items. I think that's uh, super fast to do that. Another good thing about Pro Tools was the Z, X, C, and V keys. If you don't know, that's undo, cut, copy, paste, and no modifier required. Um, and then you can add in shift or control or things to target specific, more specific actions or just like expand your options for, for that. So Z is undo, but shift Z is undo zoom. X is cut items, but command X for me is cut selected area of items. I think I might actually have that on a, a smart action. Yeah, I'll show you that. Cut items, envelope points, depending on focus, ignoring time selection. Um, or control X, cut selected area of items and unselect all items so that's a custom action basically you have the ability to make everything custom now so take your time figure out what's a better workflow it's it may not be pro tools workflow it may not be reaper's built-in workflow i would also recommend checking out my fresh start series which was for reaper 6 but all of that's going to apply to reaper 7 minus a few things few defaults i think they're going to change Trim contents behind media items when editing, that should be on. I don't think Reaper 7 is coming out tomorrow or anything like that. I think they, yeah, they better not release it this week. I think, I think it's not ready to be released yet.